Hello. Soon we will leave 2020 behind us. And I think that many of us think that it feels quite good. With the new year, the vaccine, the hope, and soon the light will come again. But before we start a new chapter, it may be a good idea to shortly reflect on what we have learned during this pandemic year. One thing is for sure that it is a good idea to listen to researchers. Researchers within the field have for a long time argued that it's not the question of if there will be a new pandemic, but when. We as a society should have been more prepared. Two is that we as a university are not always as slow as we might think we are. When we have been pressured, we have managed to transform a great deal in our business in a short time and under difficult circumstances. Three is that the shortcomings that exist within our organization become obvious when we are under pressure. We need better tools for precise internal communication and we need to develop the digital tools in our education. In general, we need to accelerate the digitalization of our working methods in order to achieve the good hybrid workplace of the future. This time, we had time to act. Other crises accelerate much faster. To handle that, we need to establish rapid and lawfully sound digital decision-making, and we need to practice. Four is that in many situations, it's absolutely possible to have meet things without traveling to each other. Now, not only the technology, but also the habit of digital meetings exists everywhere. Five is that in the end, there are still things that really cannot be done or at least will not be as good online as in real life. We should better value the personal meeting and use it for such purposes that otherwise cannot be achieved. The spread of infection is still at alarmingly high levels. The picture right now is that this is a limited problem within our faculty, but certain activities in our free time may be associated with higher risk. We must be more careful than ever and do everything we can to reduce the number of infections and reduce the burden on our colleagues in the healthcare who are working very hard. Thank you and goodbye.